hello guys welcome you all so the topic of this video is xpath locator and here i have already created a class named as xpath locator where uh, in this class i have created uh, three methods one is init method for initialization where i have done system dot set properties and i have declared a web driver also in a, a global location so uh, after that uh, the uh, main test that comes under the at rate test notation is absolute and relative path and then the tear down method so uh, let's start with that one uh, for if you want to get more details about the init method that uh, i have already explained in my launch browser video so you can go and watch uh, that video before uh, this one so that it will be easy to understand if you have not seen this uh, before mm, now in this method in the uh, absolute and relative uh, path x path method uh, let's call the init method first of all because uh, without that it the browser will not initialize and uh, here i have uh, written some syntax and some uh, important things about xpath locator so what xpath locator is first of all that it is a uh, xml path language uh xml path language and uh, what does it do like it uh, helps us to navigate through the elements uh, and the attributes in in the xml or you can say in the html document whatever the uh, code has been written it is always in a, uh, i can show you here uh, see uh, let me close this if we do control shift and c so this dom is open over here and you can see this all the codings are over there so uh, this uh, html document basically uh, our xpath will help us to navigate through this so uh, other thing that this xpath is uh, maybe of two type we can write it in two path two type of pattern one is absolute path and another one is the relative path so absolute path absolute xpath basically starts with the single slash from the root node html i can write it down here from root node html and then the relative xpath starts with double slash this is double slash and it can start from anywhere in uh, your xml document and other than that i have written few syntax for a relative xpath first of all let's start about the absolute xpath and here we will be doing driver dot find element <coughs> and uh, here we need by dot xpath so let's click here and then string for that absolute xpath and let's go to the website <coughs> which one we want to do with the absolute xpath let's go for this login button and uh, we can see that it is here uh, so if we want to write down the uh, absolute xpath so we need to find out the root of this uh, login node so where we uh, oh, sorry the root node for this login button we will go in the starting of this code we can see there is the html this everything coming under this html after that in head our uh, our main web element that we want to locate is not in under this head uh, at, uh, head node so we will go down and in this body we can see that in this body node we can find our uh, button that login button so what we will be doing after html our nx node will be body and after that we can go uh, we can navigate down through that then we can see then it comes under this d so this is the d1 after that if we navigate more down 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 so let's go we were until here so we going down we didn't find that until now so it's coming the another div html body d1 and d1 again so it is the d1 under the d1 so uh, after this where our login button comes it comes under this uh, this tag and uh, a so uh, let's write it down here for writing it down mm -hmm. control f and then we will be doing single slash html HTML, uh, one second. HTML, and then slash body, and single slash again. Div, it will be one, and then again single slash 
and then uh, d1 be d1 and then it is coming under a so we can do so we find this this is 101 so what we can do we will just copy this from here copy and we will put in our code here and then we can do we need to do a click action click we need to do so we will use click method and that's how we will save it and we can execute our code run as test ng so let's see uh, if it will uh, click on login button or not yeah it's uh, searching our driver is searching for the login button see it has clicked on the login button so i have not called the tear down method here so it will not close it so let's close this manually i have closed that and now go to next one so next is uh, our uh, relative x path so let's comment this out so that it will not interpret in uh, interrupt in our uh, uh, next coding so here i have written some syntax for relative x path first thing that will start with this double slash this double slash will come under our coding so after that there will be a tag if we want to use attributes then we will use this coding this syntax and if we want to use a hyperlink then we will use this uh, these two we can use these two syntax any one of them so for the first one like uh, if uh, this one is the coding like tag square brackets and then at rate attribute node equals to value and if with one single value we cannot find our uh, x path or that is not 101 in our coding then what we need to do is we can use uh, another uh, another attribute uh, like what we can do tag and uh, square brackets and under under this it will come at rate attribute node equals to value and at rate attribute node equal to value or we can write down so as many until when we will not get 101 one after that uh, this this one is for the link link text so if we have link text then what we need to do is tag uh, we will use a uh, square bracket under this we can use text method and equals to value another way to write it down is the same thing we can write it down uh, like that also tag contains contains method and then text and the value so let's start for the first one we will do driver dot find element and uh, here we will be doing by dot xpath xpath let's select this one and the double quotes so let's find out uh, some uh, uh, buttons for let's find out some web element for this uh, this attribute if uh, which one we can find here is now do you shall we do this again for the login button Mm, yeah we can do let's do for the css uh, let's do do it that it should go on a css uh, tutorial so if we go there we see we can see that here we have class and a reference uh, this uh, link and the title so what we need to do is let's do it first for the title so what is our code will be let's copy the value first copy the value and it is uh, the tag is a and uh, and the attribute node is title so what we will be doing we will be starting double slash a and uh, the square bracket and here it will be at rate title and it will be equals to the value under the single quote will this so see it is 101 so let's copy this from here control c and we can paste it here and the action that we want to do is same the click and semicolon let's save that and execute it so that it can go to the css tutorial page yeah it's running mm -hmm. it's buffering it's taking little time let's see how much long time it will take to reach for css tutorial one yeah it has clicked on that so it is working well right so that's how we can use uh, one uh, one attribute but uh, if we want to use a uh, double attribute then uh, two attributes how can we go there so let's close this manually first after closing that one what we need to do is um, let's make this uh, copy over here and come in this out and here uh, we already have hmm, this uh, we can try this class 
instead of this one uh, we can try that class for css one so this is the value let's copy the value copy this value and the tag is again a and uh, uh, the attribute will be at rate class so what we will be doing double slash and uh, a and then uh, square bracket and at rate class class equals to single quote and the value we have to copy here so you see there are so many it is not one of one it is one of 224 so what we need to do is we can do here if we want to use the same tag then we can use and at rate and what else do we have here we have this uh, title again so we can copy this we can copy at rate title uh, we can do at rate title equals to and this will be single quote and this CSS tutorial we need to copy from here copy and then paste so you see it's coming again one on one so what we can do we just will do copy this from here and we go back we just uh, can copy the code again we just need to delete it here and paste the path so let's comment this out and after commenting this out what we need we will just execute just save it first after that we can execute our code let's see if it will click on our css uh, tutorial button again or not oh yes it has clicked on that so our method is good like we have written the path exactly the way we wanted and now let's copy this one again Control alt and down arrow key and comment this out again uh, now uh, what we want close this manually and uh, what we want let's go to the login button again in this login button um, we can use uh, some uh, text also so our link also we just want what we want to do next is okay we have used this tag attribute so now the next one is if we have the link how to use this uh, syntax if we have to use that for the link so uh, here for the link if you see we have here the uh, for the link we can use this text this login text we can use let's copy this from here copy and uh, uh, again we can see that there will what the uh, syntax for that is tag method text and put the value so simple and here the tag is a so what we need to do is we will just copy we will just do it here double slash a and uh, square brackets and un, uh, here we can write down text method and that will be equals to the value here we can write down p so you see it is one of one so we can copy this from here control c and we can put it in our code so uh, what we can do here here we can do the coding here we can paste that and what we need to do we again want to do uh, click on the login button so let's execute this if it will work or not yes the browser launched and it need to click on login button the driver is searching for that let's see how much time it will take and if it goes on the login button faster or not hmm. sometimes this website takes a little little extra time but still it works yeah see it has clicked on the login button so now we can manually close it again and uh, another method that we want to use it another uh, syntax sorry what we want to use is this one by using the contains method so it is also very simple again what we will do we will copy the same code let's uh, remove this and then uh, what we need to do is we will just do contains here contains and then this because this is a method we will be using it like that hmm inside it will go inside this yes so let's save it and if you want to check it if it is one of one or not control c this from here and you can paste it here in this one so okay oh yeah we have to make the changes good that we have uh, we should uh, put comma here oh yeah so this one is the correct one so let's copy this from here and we can paste it here and save it and then we need to execute our code so run as test engine 
let's see if it will uh, click on the login button or not it takes little time but still it will click on the login button you need to wait for that Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has clicked on the login button. So, uh, whatever XPath we have written for the relative XPath, all were accurate and correct. So, uh, we can use this method. And it's a, in, in this small video, I have uh, tried to explain, I have tried to use each and every uh, concept that we use generally for absolute XPath and also for the relative XPath. Another, another thing that we can do is a driver dot find element and uh, by dot xpath xpath and here again double quote so let's go back here another thing that we can do here is if we want to go to this login just right click on that and we can go to copy and we can uh, copy xpath if you will copy xpath and we can paste this here we can see this is one of one again copy this from here and we can go back we just need to paste it here and what action we want we want click so choose click over here and this save it and execute the code and let's see if it will also click on the login button browser launched again buffering and it should click on the login button again by copying the xpath so i have tried all the ways that we generally use for finding the X path of one particular web element. So it is a good practice in one small video. See, it has clicked on the login button. So I will close it manually. Guys, I hope you like this video and uh, with the, all the necessary stuff uh, related to absolute and uh, uh, relative X path. And uh, thank you very much for watching this. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.